Well, when you were coming up, Turner, were there a lot of younger blacks playing blues? Yeah, quite a few. Mm-hmm. People of about your age? Yeah, just about my age in there. Younger. Some now, older. at the same time, the people were playing blues. I know you play some Carter family material. Were people listening to the Carter family and Riley Puckett and people like that, too? Yeah. Did did a lot of uh, blacks around here own phonographs and, and play yeah, a lot? Yeah, just about each family had a phonograph. Hmm. Was that along with the older people in the in the community one of the biggest sources of of learning material? Right. Yeah. Now you play now with a is it a bluegrass group? Yeah. How often do you get together with them? Just about each Saturday night. Somewhere, the most time we play in different places, but just about every Saturday night. Do you play in different people's houses, or yeah, right. Hmm. Now, getting back to blues playing, did a lot of did any blues players around here play for frolics that they have every weekend when people got together and played music? And did people do that around here? Yeah, oh, that's, yeah. that's what we were talking about a while ago. Like uh, every Saturday night, we'd have a frolic, well, frolic or you know. square dances. Uh, what we call jitterbug and uh, anything like that. Turn and I used to play for all of that. Now, what kind of dancing would people do for for get-togethers like this? Well, back in the when this first started, they would flat foot, you know, just like they do now in the regular bluegrass uh, teams. And then they started their jitterbugging and you know different style of dancing. Like when Truck of My Blues Away came out by Blind Boy, they began to learn how to dance other than the old square dance. Mm -hmm. Did a lot of black people around here flat foot, you say? Yeah, back there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all they knew back when we was kids. They started out on flat foot in the old Charleston, things like that. We used to have a phonograph and played uh, most, uh, most of our records were by Jimmy Rogers, uh, somebody like that. There was another fellow named Jimmy, somebody that yodeled. Uh, I can't remember his name, but Jim, but Jimmy Rogers was one of the first uh, players that I ever noticed on phonograph that I ever patterned after trying to sing his songs, you know, and listen to his clear music. He played some of the prettiest, clearest music that I ever heard. Mm-hmm. And I, I copied a lot of his songs, you know, in the head, you know. Well, what other blues players did you listen to besides Fuller? And uh, you mentioned Josh White earlier. What other records did you hear? Oh, uh, there was a guy named Bull City Red and... Uh, I can't remember these blues men. Uh, Doug mentioned one a while ago. Uh, what time did Washboat Sam, was he playing in turn? Mm-hmm. Washboat yeah. Sam. What was that guy's name you mentioned a while ago, Doug? Who, B.B. King? No. Mm-hmm. Doug mentioned it. No. No. It was old, way back. 